You're watching Tag. India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in the field of science and technology, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I'm your host Shreya Savijay and today in our episode of My India, We'll take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. The river Ganga is considered as the purest river of India. From the ancient times, the people of India have worshipped the river as goddess and the healer against all evils. To maintain this firm faith of the people in the purity of Ganga, the government of India has been tirelessly working to cleanse the river through an integrated effort. As a part of it, special attention is being laid to all aspects of the river. Under this approach, National Mission for Clean Ganga has identified a number of secluded wetlands in the Ganga Basin, which are required to be maintained in order to enhance the ecological balance of the river. Take a look. Diorya Tal, one of the high altitude wetlands in Uttarakhand, is an untouched marvel of nature. There are many such wetlands which are highly productive ecosystems that support rich biodiversity and provide a wide range of ecosystem services such as water supply, purification and waste assimilation. The wetlands play a crucial role in recharging groundwater increase the base flow of rivers and help in erosion control. Several of the Ganga Basin's wetlands are home to key flora and fauna, including various species of migratory birds. The National Mission for Clean Ganga under the Namami Gange program has taken up an initiative to conserve the wetlands in Ganga River Basin. The difference in the Namami Gange project is primarily to rejuvenate the river through base flow, increasing the base flow and aquifer recharge and conservation of wetlands because that forms part of uh, one of our viral dhara which is uh, to maintain the environment flow in the river. So wetland play a very major important role in that. In the first step we are doing five main stem states Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand and West Bengal. Uh, we are talking with all the state government to set up their wetland authorities. Almost all the states have done it. And now we are going for the brief document and wise use uh, documents for its rejuvenation. Some of these wetlands are threatened by reclamation and degradation through drainage, landfill, and over exploitation of their natural resources. It results in loss of biodiversity and disruption in ecosystem services provided by the wetlands. The National Mission for Clean Ganga in collaboration with the state wetland authorities will help identify and prepare integrated management plans to conserve these natural aquifers in the Ganga Basin. If wetlands are in good health, if we don't encroach them, they also help in mitigating some pollution because they also try to treat in a natural way some minor pollution in the villages they can be treated through the wetland. They improve groundwater and when the rain comes they will get full. So in the lean season through this wetland river will start getting water. So I think that is the whole mechanism this is all integrated system and then we are also trying to involve the community in the wetland conservation through our wildlife institute of India. So I think we have a cadre of people, so apart from government's efforts and scientific efforts, community is also getting educated, made aware about all these water bodies have to be rejuvenated. 
ecosystem based and community led models of rejuvenation of wetlands for enhancing avirulta and nirmalta of the river and water conservation in the ganga basin are being integrated into the namami gange program One must have heard several stories of friendship and selfless love between the people of different religious communities of India. It is a secular country where citizens belong to any religious community are given equal chance to prosper and develop. So, today in our episode, we take you to meet three women from Bareilly in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh who although belong to different communities but are united through their common ideas and thoughts. turning waste into their earning these three ladies from bareilly are making their communities and societies proud manisha pushpa and nazreen the three friends who have acquired a diploma in fashion designing took up waste material like tea cups straws threads and many other waste items from common households to make beautiful dolls and home decor products अब से लगभग पाँच साल पहले मैंने फैशन डिज़ाइनिंग का डिप्लोमा किया था जिसमें मेरी फ्रेंडशिप मनीषा और नाजरीन से हुई थी हम तीनों लोग एक साथ ही फैशन डिज़ाइनिंग करते थे हम लोगों ने जब डिज़ाइनिंग कंप्लीट करी अपना डिप्लोमा कंप्लीट किया उसके बाद में टीचिंग करी जिसमें हम लड़कियों को सिलाई और फैशन डिज़ाइनिंग और रूम डेकोरेशन ये सारी बातें सिखाया करते थे और उसके बाद में हम लोग काफ़ी टाइम तक एक साथ टीचिंग करते रहे धीरे धीरे हम लोगों ने सोचा कि हम लोगों को कुछ हटके यूनिक करना चाहिए ऑल द थ्री लेडीज शेयर द कॉमन इंटरेस्ट एंड वर रेडी टू पुट इन एफर्ट्स टू रियलाइज देयर ड्रीम एंड सून दे ओपनड एन ऑनलाइन बिजनेस टू सेल देयर क्रिएटिव हैंडीक्राफ्ट आइटम्स दैट आर बिकमिंग पॉपुलर ऑल अक्रॉस द स्टेट एंड अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री जब हम कोई बड़ मटेरियल लेते थे वो बुक बहुत कॉस्टली पड़ता था हम लोग का क्या होता था उसमें कि एक ही प्रोजेक्ट हमारा तैयार हो पाता था इसके अदर में हम लोगों ने क्या करा कि बेस मटेरियल का यूज करना शुरू किया जो कि नॉर्मली सबके घर में मिल ही जाता है ऑल दो नाजरीन खान बिलोंग्स टू अ मुस्लिम फैमिली एंड मनीषा एंड पुष्पा बिलोंग टू हिंदू कम्युनिटी द थ्री ऑफ देम शेयर अ बॉन्ड ऑफ सिस्टरहुड अमंग देम हम लोग अलग अलग कास्ट के अलग अलग धर्म के होने के बावजूद भी एक दूसरे के साथ ऐसे रहते हैं जैसे एज अ सिस्टर तीनों बहनें हैं एक दूसरे को खिलाते भी हैं एक दूसरे के साथ खाते भी हैं एक दूसरे के त्यौहार भी अपने एक साथ मनाते हैं कभी हम लोगों को लगा ही नहीं कि जो है हम जो है हिंदू हैं या मुसलमान हैं या कुछ है कुछ नहीं मतलब साथ में रहते हैं खाते पीते हैं काफ़ी टाइम हो गया पाँच छः साल से भी ज़्यादा हो गए और साथ में मतलब एक दूसरे की फैमिली में भी आते जाते हैं और ना ही किसी फैमिली के मेंबर ने कभी ऑब्जेक्शन उठाया और हमेशा हम लोग साथ रहें चाहे कहीं पे भी रहें और जब भी हम लोगों का नाम लिया जाए तो तीनों का साथ लिया जाए द रियल स्टोरीज ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप लाइक दीज कुड बी हर्ड फ्रॉम एवरी नुक एंड कॉर्नर ऑफ द कंट्री दीज स्टोरीज मेक अस रियलाइज दैट हाउ एवर डिफरेंट वी आर इन आर रिलीजियस प्रैक्टिस कल्चर्स एंड ट्रेडिशंस we are united to work towards a common good for humanity and the nature now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently hundreds of monks and devotees gathered at the spitak monastery and performed rituals and offered prayers with devotion to dispel evils during the two day colorful winter festival this is my first time visiting the festival in spitak and i'm really enjoying it so far it's very nice to see our culture in a more intimate setting during the winters so it's it's very interesting During the festival monks wore colorful traditional attires and masks and performed the cham dance a traditional Tibetan dance form depicting various idols worshiped by the community devotees spent hours standing in queues at the gates of Gongkhang oldest part of the monastery to seek blessings of the mahakal protector god idols whose face remains covered throughout the year except during the festival Indian Space Agency 
unveiled its humanoid astronaut's prototype that will go on a test flight for Gaganyaan, Sky Vehicle Country's first manned mission to space. The humanoid dubbed as Vyomitra, a friend of the skies, has an anthropomorphic design, which means its human-sized arms and torso will mimic crew movement and activity and report to Indian Space Research Organization with collected data for further analysis in order to perfect the human flight. This is the first prototype of the half humanoid, which is uh, scheduled to fly in the first unmanned Gaganyaan flight. Uh, so this uh, primary objective is to mimic crew activity. So uh, you can see in this uh, poster, uh, it can uh, uh, it can attain a launch and orbital postures, and as well as re-entry postures. It can do switch panel operations, uh, like operating switches, and then uh, some activity like uh, carbon dioxide canister replacement in cases of emergency. So we are simulating all these activities. Viomitra will also be able to perform life support operation activities, monitor crew module parameters and crew escape system test among other things. ISRO's chief K. Sivan said four astronauts were selected for the manned flight and they would go for training in Russia later this month. He had earlier said ISRO will send a test flight by the end of 2020 as a preparation operation for Gaganyaan which is expected to take off by December 2021. Authorities in India's Jammu and Kashmir territory held a conference regarding the inscription of six Royal Kashmiri Gardens into the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. A nomination dossier containing the six Mughal era gardens will be sent to the UNESCO for their listing in the catalogue. जो छह गार्डेन्स हैं परिमहल, शालिमार, निशात, अच्छाबल, वेरीनाग और चश्मशाही इनको यूनेस्को को एज ए सीरियल नॉमिनेशन भेजा जाए एज द मुगल गार्डन्स ऑफ कश्मीर और टू बी एबल टू डू दैट वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर अ नॉमिनेशन डॉसियर एंड देन थ्रू द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सबमिटेड टू यूनेस्को एंड वी आर होपिंग दैट दिस विल बी इंस्क्राइब एज अ यूनेस्को वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज Inscription as a World Heritage Site, it is a known fact that for a site to get World Heritage Site inscription has a massive impact and a positive impact on tourism and economy. Officials hope the special status of the gardens will attract tourists from around the world and in turn boost tourism in the volatile region. Moving on to Japan, where along with its cutting-edge technology, its culture, art and history are also getting popularity all across the world. Yokohama, the main port city of the country, has become a famous tourist destination for its unique restaurants and shops that still carry the essence of history and culture. And as we talked about the technology of Japan, the Casio, a well-known name in electronic musical instrument makers, launched new Casio Tone CT201 musical keyboard in California. We have a report. Yokohama has been the main port in Japan for centuries. It is now a very popular tourist attraction combining history, art and culture. The red brick warehouses Akaringa are among the landmarks of the city. Formerly, these were the customs inspection house for Yokohama Bay's shipping activity after being opened in 1859. These beautiful red brick buildings were closed in 1989 and in the year 2002, these were converted into one of Yokohama's most popular family and date spots with many unique shops and restaurants inside. Many features of these old warehouses are still being preserved, even the close by railway station. Throughout the year, many events take place in the red brick warehouses. Fuyuo, コラボレーションをたくさんの方に楽しんでいただいてます。スイーツアイスリンク甘いもの大好きスケートリンクというテーマでタイのアーティストウィストポニミットさんに空間を演出していただきました。
雑誌「ビッグイシュー日本版」という雑誌で10年以上にわたって連載されている漫画の登場人物マムアンちゃんというキャラクターとたくさんのカラフルなスイーツに囲まれてスケートを楽しむことができます。Red Brick Warehouses has played a major role in domestic and overseas development as a global logistics base since its foundation. And now, it is a place for the creation of art and culture. Actually, my kids love skating, and we didn't have an opportunity anywhere else, so we knew Yokohama has、uh, the ring for the ice skating, so they love it and they're very happy. The spacious ice skating rink is available for limited time only, so many foreign tourists try not to lose the opportunity to enjoy it. Yokohama is a beautiful place. I was just going to skate to the first time. I was just going to skate to the first time. I was just going to skate to the first time. The illumination in the evening adds more beauty to our drink scenery. This unique place in Yokohama offers great opportunity to enjoy and learn about the history of the city while interacting with various cultures from Japan and abroad. Moving on, Casio introduced cutting edge p r o d u c t in California. 40 years ago, the first musical electronic keyboard, the Casio Tone CT201, was introduced to the world with the goal of bringing enjoyment of music to more people. Casio is celebrating this important occasion at its booth in the NAMM show held in Anaheim, California. This is the largest gathering of its kind with participation of more than 2,000 musical instrument companies from all over the world. 1980年、カシオ計算機としては、時計伝達的に次ぐ、まあ、第3の品目として、楽器が始まりました。えー、旧あのカシオ敏夫会長の方が、まあ、ご自分でも楽器を弾かれる方じゃなかったんですけれども、より多くの方々に、より身近に、えー、いわゆる楽器演奏を楽しんでもらいたいという思いから、得意のデジタル技術を使って、アナログ楽器、複数のアナログ楽器を一つの、キーボードという形に集約したモデルを CT201 という商品で発売を開始しました。Casio's invention brought the charm of music to the people, regardless of the skill level in playing musical instruments. Many music lovers are visiting Casio's booth to celebrate its instrument's 40th anniversary. Some are checking its latest product and new trend of music, while others are having hands on experience. I actually have an M Audio, but I'm looking for a new one. So <laughs> I really like this one. This is cool. Just the sounds in it, there's so many different sounds, and they all sound really good, like high quality. I like that. <laughs> These new products are attracting attention with the concept of connecting music and lifestyle. The s e l i n g product, or the corner of the world, is the same as 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 the same. 身近に感じていただけるようなライフスタイルコーナーというものを作りました。今回の中心的な商品と言いますと、まず3つ挙げられると思います。えっ、ー、と昨年発売した商品なんですけれども、えー、電子ピアノの PXS シリーズ、最新のデジタル技術を使ってよりコンパクト、よりスリムにした商品が PXS シリーズになります。それと電子キーボードのカシオトーン。今回はデザイン的にですね。どこにでも持ち運べるようなこういう取っ手ハンドル付きというデザインを新たに採用したモデルですそして、えー、デジタルピアノのグランドハイブリッドシリーズペキシタインさんとコラボレーションした商品の第2作目になります、えー、よりアコースティックピアノを感じていただけるような本格的なタッチと演奏感それと音色ですね Casio Electronic Musical Instruments have been sold over 90 million units This success Reflects the commitment of Japanese company to further advance that bring more people the joy of playing musical i n s t r u m e n t Sufism has entrenched itself at the center of cultural and spiritual life in India. Dargahs of Sufi saints in almost every part of the country are the rich reservoirs of this tradition. During the Urs commemorations at the Dargahs, A large number of people from various religions unite to pray for peace and harmony. The Dargah of Shah Mina Shah 
in northern city of Lucknow is one such place where devotees from all religions come and offer prayers to the Sufi saint who lit the path of virtue, wisdom and peace for his fellow beings and followers. Take a look. Cutting across the religious lines, hundreds of thousands of pilgrims throng Darga of Baba Shah Mina Shah in the capital city, Lucknow of Uttar Pradesh. The Darga witnessed a large number of pilgrims coming together in the spirit of humanity and commemorate the 557th Urs or death anniversary of the Sufi saint. During Urs, devotees including women and children offer prayers and holy chadars at the shrine while chanting verses from the Quran. मैं तो बचपन देखता हूँ ना वो काफी लोग ताईसे हैं जो हर बरसपत को आते हैं बहुत लोग ऐसे हैं जो बिना धर्म मजाज इसलिए अपने इसके रोज हाजी देके जाते हैं यहाँ पे चौक सराफा इसे यहाँ से करीब में बहुत दुकानदार आते हैं पहले यहाँ दर्शन करने के बाद जाते हैं दुकान खोलते हैं सुफ्रीजम ये होता है कि अपने आप आने लगता है जब लोग मदारों पर जाते हैं अपने आप उनको शांति मिलने लगती है इसका कोई कोर्स नहीं होता है Darga holds great significance as it welcomes people of all faiths to seek oneness with God and play a distinctive role in narrowing the boundaries of the religions and boosting secularism in the country. Organizing Qawwali at the Darga is another way to offer prayers to the Almighty and the Sufi saint. Qawwali sung by the local artists at the Darga is quite popular among Hindu devotees. Some of these devotees visit the shrine every day to pay their obeisance to the saint. आना है कवाली होती यहाँ और सारे मजहब के लोग यहाँ पे लोग कवाली का बड़ा अकीदा मानते हैं हिंदू भाई भी हमारे बहुत अकीदे से सुनते हैं कवाली और यहाँ करीब करीब सभी लोग आते हैं The message of peace and brotherhood comes out loud from these dargahs and these sites have been acting as symbols of communal harmony for ages India has come a long way in providing the best of experiences to all the tourists that visit the country. The hotel management and hospitality sector of the country has seen a rapid boom as they are coming up with new and innovative ways of providing a memorable experience to their guests. Recently, a record attempt was done by the Indian Professional Hotel Association to make the biggest tall artwork. Let's have a look. Hotels and resorts have started coming up with new ways to please their customers. Greeting with a flower garland or a synthetic tasting welcome drink have been replaced by a number of new techniques like greeting with a seashell necklace, local cloth wear or a tall art piece. In a similar attempt to attract more customers, the Indian Professional Hotel Association of India in Pune attempted a world record to create world's largest tall art in the India books of record we are in pune to celebrate ifa india's 5th uh, anniversary celebration ifa india is a non profitable organization which uh, we share knowledge and we uh, share the details of with people and as part of it we have created a towel art which is called towel origami we have created a crocodile shape out of it and with this in this we are also attempting a india book of record tall art is a depiction of an animal by folding small tiles similar to origami this art is said to have been popularized by an international cruise line of florida generally elephants snakes rabbits and swans are prepared by folding towels and are kept in the suites to surprise the guests slowly the technique is gaining popularity around the world and is becoming a part of hotels policies on hospitality the growing trend to display a towel art on bed in shapes of animals and bird is found to be amusing and exotic by people and is gaining popularity through social media that's all we have for you this week your comments and suggestions are important to us do give us your feedback at mindia@nin.com 
I'm your host Shreya Savage and it's goodbye from the entire production team. You're watching Tech